What is up guys? Welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Today we're back with the Spigen liquid crystal case to unbox. Do a quick review. As always I'm going to throw up the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. $1199 is going to be the price point so the pricing is definitely on point. This is obviously going to be one of their clear cases. kind of like a gel style case. So we'll check it out and see if it is a hit or if it's going to be a miss for the S10 to the E. Let's go and check out the usual presentation from Spigen. Got some branding up top. Very lightweight presentation. Very minimalist. S10e something you want. Back really nothing to it. That's pretty much it. They do have a little tab right here. Pops open with no struggles or stress needed. I say that and I'm struggling. Pop it open like that. Here we go. Let's check it out. I know everybody's probably, especially the people that got the uh, colored versions of the phone, like the, you know, the, this this whitish color that looks beautiful. That's really not white. It's blue. Um, there's quite a few different other colors like that orange or flamingo pink or uh, the blue. All these colors are going to be pretty bright. So when everybody's looking for one of these cases, it's going to show off the beauty of the phone. So this one may hit that price point that you're looking for. You got a wet wipe. So to keep that handy to give it a wipe, wipe it down, wipe it down. Very nice. Keep that around because that does help out quite a bit. What I'll do is take a microfiber cloth if I can find one and then wipe on the beautiful glass back. Make it look fresh and clean before we do the actual installation or uh, put the phone in the case. Wipe it down. Look clean. How's it look? Beautiful. Good enough. Let's roll with it. Sometimes I like these cases. Sometimes I have kind of a love-hate relationship with these kind of cases because I love the way they look on the actual phone, but then I'll find like a little speck of dirt or something like that on the actual phone itself, and then I'll have to constantly take out the case to wipe it down, wipe it down. That's just kind of one of those struggles that I have. Ooh, that does look beautiful though. So if anybody, I can say, I can honestly say this, anybody wants to maintain the natural beauty of the phone, this is the way to go. It looks very beautiful. It does have that little dot matrix on the inside as well. And I, let me check that out. So yeah, what I was talking about this dot matrix, you can kind of hear it. What that does, is it creates kind of a barrier between the phone itself and then the back of the actual plastic case. And it creates a barrier. So you're not going to get that like rainbow effect or that kind of the stain look that happens sometimes when we get a clear case. And what, because of that, it would look beautiful, hopefully, all the time, and you won't have to deal with that. You may get a little bit maybe on the sides or the edges. Sometimes I notice that, but for the most part, that helps eliminate that. So you got the S10 logo popping through looking legit. Samsung logo. Camera cutout looks very nice. You can see the extra camera, reinforced camera coverage all the way around. So that's very nice protection. Now, I wish there was a little more grip. It's kind of very a little bit slick on the sides. I wish there's a little more grip to it, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. This adds little to no bulk, so you really it's still going to be that one hand form with no issues at all. Let's check out that lip because everybody does like a fat lip, and this is yeah decent lip protection. You can see the lipage right there raising up around the edges. Not nothing crazy. I expected a little bit more from Sam or from uh, speaking with the lip coverage on this particular device. But nothing crazy. It's definitely better than the official ones that I've been reviewing from Samsung. So you're getting some lip protection. So if you do drop it, it's going to make impact upon, hopefully, the lip before it makes impact upon your screen. Volume up and down. Clicky enough. I wish they're a little bit. I wish it's a little bit softer. It's kind of hard to push down. So that'd be a negative. I would say. I usually don't even mess with the Bixby button. All the ports look clean across the board, so that's actually nice. Your, your bottom part is covered, but the ports are cut it out, cut out really nice. You can see it's probably a better angle right there. So nice cutouts right there from Spigen. Now the fingerprint sensor, and they did a great job here too, guys. You can see where it transitions right there to the fingerprint sensor. Feels natural, no issues at all. So I do appreciate that. No struggles or stress needed for that. So is this a hit or miss? I'm going to make it easy. This is a hit simply because of the fact anybody looking for a clear case to show off the beauty of the phone, yes, it's probably going to get yellowy after a certain amount of time. But know that going into it, if you're paying 11 bucks, I don't have a problem with that. If you're paying 40 bucks for a case, I do have a problem with that. So let's keep that in mind how much you're paying for a case depending on you know what your level of expectations are. So I would say this one's definitely gonna be a hit to show off that 
beautiful back of the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.